Hey guys, welcome to this week's DevKit Weekly, where we'll be connecting with the Monarch LTEM Development Kit from Avid. So, LTEM. If you don't know about it, you're about to find out. LTEM is a family of cellular standards that bridges the gap from legacy networks into 5G and focuses primarily on machine-to-machine -machine type communications. For those of you who are working with or have worked with M2M &M and industrial IoT deployments in the past, you'll know that the gold standard of cellular machine-to-machine -machine type communications was 2G networks. Fortunately, those are all but offline now. LTEM provides a next generation, single input, single output alternative to 2G networks, sporting either half or full duplex operation with peak downlink rates of ranging from one megabit per second to four megabit per second, uplink rates from one megabit per second to seven megabits per second, and the ability to achieve latencies of just 10 to 15 milliseconds, depending on the implementation. The standards, which include LTE CAT0, LTE CAT M1, and LTE CAT M2, also support mobility and voice. So in flies the Monarch LTEM Development Kit, a cellular IoT enablement platform that leverages both the LPC 55S69 EVK from NXP and the Monarch Go Arduino Shield that features Sequin's Monarch Go modem. Now, usually we focus on the main board first and the add-on hardware second here on DevKit Weekly but the Monarch Go warns the switcheroo. The Monarch Go is an LTEM modem based on Sequin's Monarch LTEM chip that comes with an integrated antenna that's pre-certified for use on Verizon networks, a pre-installed ThinkSpace IoT SIM, and online management via the Verizon ThinkSpace platform, which allows data plan selection, data plan activation, and access to the Verizon firmware over the air update service. And you can also get an optional embedded GPS in the Monarch modem that makes the platform applicable to asset tracking and logistics use cases that require anywhere from 500 to 1000 meter accuracy all the way down to sub 5 meter accuracies. As you can see, the modem is prepackaged and ready to go in this 35 millimeter by 50 millimeter by 14.95 millimeter enclosure, so you don't have to go through any of the headaches of designing and testing or the cost of doing any of that stuff your next LTE uh, antenna or IoT modem. It can just be dropped right in. The Sequence Monarch chip at the heart of the modem supports the sister LTE NB1 standard as well, and it also integrates a baseband processor, RF, RAM, and power management blocks, in addition to PSM, DRX, and dynamic power management features that reduce radio consumption and extend battery life. It does so much so that the system can support more than 10 years of continuous operation. Oh, and one more cool feature of the Monarch LTEM platform is that it supports programmable RF filtering, which means that it enables global band support with a single SKU. The modem itself is compatible with Windows, Linux, and other embedded and real-time operating systems. Includes an embedded IP stack with support for HTTP or HTTPS, MQTT or MQTTS, UDP, TCP, FTP, and other communications protocols. And it's also easy to integrate with cloud services like AWS and Microsoft Azure. It can even send and receive text messages. So all of that's included on an Arduino Shield that also integrates an NXP secure element, Vichet ambient light sensor, a shuttle expansion connector, and plugs right into the NXP LPC 55S69 EVK. We won't spend a ton of time on the baseboard, which you can see here, except to point out that it of course sports the ARM Cortex M33 based LPC 55S69 microcontroller that runs at 150 megahertz. It also features a secondary M33 coprocessing core, trust zone support, 640 kilobytes of flash and 320 kilobytes of SRAM. When you move around the board, you'll find both high speed and full speed USB ports, audio IL, an onboard debug interface, um, Arduino, Microelectronica, and PMOD expansion headers, um, a micro SD card interface, the requisite LEDs and push buttons, and there's even an accelerometer. So you get all of that for just $99 from Avnet. If you're interested in finding out more, you can go to avnet.com and just search Monarch Go. 
or you can enter this week's raffle by following the link that's on the screen right now, as well as in the description below, and you have a chance to win this kit for absolutely free. So if you're looking for an on-ramp to modern M2M communications without the cost or headache of traditional RF engineering, stop wasting time and get started now with the Abnet Monarch LTEM development kit. Here's to getting connected. We'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.